The Harvester is a great tool used in open source intelligence. It is excellent at gathering information on various emails, domains, subdomains, and even employee names. And it does this by using a multitude of different sources. So let's jump in and cover the basics. If you're using Kali Linux, the Harvester will already be pre-installed. All we'll have to do is simply type in the Harvester. Now let's start with this, a dash D. A dash D represents the domain of the target that you're trying to do reconnaissance on. So for example, we can do Microsoft.com. Now keep in mind, this is open source intelligence, so it is 100% legal. This is because you're using publicly available data already on the internet. So we're going to use a popular example, Microsoft. Next, we just do a dash B. A dash B represents the data feed in terms of where you want to extract the data from. In this case, we can use Google. We can use Bing. We can even use Yahoo. If you can't decide, you can put all and I'll search all databases that the harvester has. So it'll include things like Shodan, PGP, etc. There's quite a bit of them that you can look through. The next step would be to do a dash L. This will limit the search results. So in this case, we can look for 100 search results or even 1,000. But let's go with 300. It really depends on how in-depth and how many queries and results you're looking to look for. And we're going to hit enter. So we can see the target is Microsoft.com. And we can see searching for zero results, 100, 200. And when it gets to the end of this, it'll show us all the hosts that are found. So we can see that there's devblogs.microsoft.com, support.microsoft.com, techcommunity.microsoft, and so on and even corresponding IP addresses. So this is a great tool at determining different subdomains, emails, and domains to find more details on a target. If you do want to see more information other than just the basics, you can always type in the harvester dash dash help, and this list will come up and you can see more information on exactly what you can do with the harvester. One thing that I'd like to point out is the dash B for source, these are all the sources that the harvester can use. So when you type in all, these will be all the data feed sources. And you can see it's quite a bit. And that concludes the basics of the harvester. Thank you very much for watching.